Thanks for watching. This is Princess Kimby and Jay Draws Disney. We're going to the Candlelight Procession at Epcot. Epcot has hosted over 2,000 processions in celebration of the season. However, Candlelight existed long before Epcot was even built. The first official Candlelight Processional was December 21st, 1958 at Disneyland Park when 700 choir members, candles in hand, sang Christmas hymns as they made their way down Main Street, USA towards Sleeping Beauty Castle. Walt Disney World's Candlelight Processional premiered in 1971 at Cinderella Castle at the Magic Kingdom. The show came to Epcot about two decades later and remains a holiday favorite. He is also the chair and John N. Tietke, professor of music at Rollins College. Welcome to the stage, the Voices of Liberty.
last night uh, it's no this will be my seventh performance of candlelight and I'm a couple of years away from becoming an Epcot animatronic at this point uh, it's it's really fun to be here how you guys doing in the back back there standing up can you guys can you guys see me well from the Morocco pavilion no all joking aside I'm only up here because I, I booked this spot on genie plus um, <laughs> So, good evening everyone, and welcome. Uh, I am so thrilled to be here, and even more thrilled to finally have a reason to wear a suit at Epcot. Uh, if you are here for the first time, so am I, so this should be fun. And if you are here because you couldn't get tickets to Neil Patrick Harris, so am I. So again, this should be fun. Now without further ado, what do you say we begin? Thank you. Dude. That was a rhetorical question. I'm not sure if you know, but Walt Disney began the tradition of the candlelight processional at Disneyland over 60 years ago. 
Right now, Walt Disney World is celebrating 50 years of magic here in Florida. And in that time, literally millions of guests have enjoyed the Christmas story, the traditional carols, and especially the glorious music of the holiday season. To continue this marvelous heritage, I invite you now to sit back, relax, and enjoy our magnificent orchestra and our awesome, awesome singers. And it came to pass, in those days a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be registered. And all went, each to his own town. And Joseph also went from Galilee, from the town of Nazareth, to Judea, to the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, to be registered with Mary, his betrothed who was with child. And while they were there, the time came for her to give birth. And she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no place for them in the inn. shepherds out in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And an angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them. And they were filled with great fear. And the angel said to them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David, a Savior, who is Christ the Lord.
And suddenly, there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace, goodwill towards all. drama me before it went on. <laughs> when the angels went away from them into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, let us go over to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has made known to us. And they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the baby lying in a manger. And when they saw it, they made known the saying that had been told them concerning this child. And all who heard it wondered at what the shepherd told them. Yeah. 
Every time I hear that song, I want to I wanna be like one of those chickens on Splash Mountain and do this thing. You know those chickens? Hens, which I don't know what they are. Anyway, back before they kick me off stage, I should keep reading this. And behold, the star that they had seen went before them until it came to rest over the place where the child was. And going into the house, they saw the child with Mary, his mother, and they fell down and worshipped him. Then, opening their treasures, they offered him gifts, gold and frankincense and myrrh. had flown off to spread the good news, a quiet settled over the stables in that little town of Bethlehem. Alone for the very first time, Mary and Joseph looked down at their beautiful baby, sleeping peacefully in the manger. All at once, the worry, the joy, 
the bewilderment and the awe that they felt for this tiny child washed over them. They felt the magnitude of what had just occurred and wondered what the future would bring for them. In the stillness of the evening, they watched as Jesus slept, listening for the soft sounds of his breath, for the rustle of hay in the night breeze, heart swelling. As you leave here tonight, please make sure to pick up your photo pass of each one of you singing Silent Night. <laughs> For all the miracles of Jesus Christ, the Prince of Peace himself was a man, a human being, and he walked through this world in the most human way possible, with love. He didn't have much, but what he did have, he shared and it became plenty. Food, water, shelter, care. He met the world around him with empathy, saw hunger and shared the food from his plate, saw thirst, and poured for them from his own cup, saw sickness, and offered his time for their healing, soothed them with his human hands. Jesus Christ found it in his earthly heart to give of himself to all the people who loved him and even to the people who betrayed him. To all people. That a baby in a manger could grow to become a man who taught a world of people what it means to love one another. That is the spirit of the season. And it lives inside each and every one of us. The greatest joy of being human is to love one another. And when we share that love, that is the greatest gift of all.
sincerely enjoyed being here with all of you and I hope you enjoyed this candlelight processional as much as we did. You know about 30 years ago I was a little kid from uh, Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Uh, I don't know if they're cheering that I was once little but Fort Lauderdale. Um, but anyway I stood right back there where you guys are standing and I, and I tried to see my way in and I thought to myself Man, I hope someone is stupid enough to let me do that one day, and here I am. And to all of you little tiny dreamers out there, I hope that 30 years from now, I get to see one of you up here, okay? And in the meantime, I am sending each and every one of you warm hugs in this holiday season. Aww. But before we go, we'd like to leave you this evening with one final wish. The holiday season means something different to everyone. Across languages and customs, we all have traditions that we hold dear. We pass them down and share them with one another at every opportunity. Because ultimately, the message at the heart of all of our celebrations is a simple one that stands the test of time. Peace on earth, goodwill to all. Follow button, subscribe, or one. That will get you into the holiday spirit at Epcot. We rode the boat over. It was much faster than walking through all the countries. 
I appreciate them that they had two showings of the candlelight procession. Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays and Happy New Year. And enjoy the holidays however you like with whomever. And thanks for watching. This is Princess Kimby and Jay Draws Disney. Go follow us on all our channels. TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook.